How do you like your name, baby? What do you think about it? You want to know what I think of whenever I hear your name? Well, they call me Senorita. Looky where I am. Hi, beautiful and handsome. And beautiful. Y'all hanging out in the shade? It's the middle of the day. And I came here to have lunch with y'all. Hi, Danny. How are you doing? Oh, you've been rolling in the clay a little bit, huh? I heard y'all got a little bit of rain last night. Hi, sweetie. How are you? You good? Oh, you've been eating one of the blocks. That's good, huh? Yeah. Got your halter off. It's good to see you. What do you think about that little rainstorm y'all had last night? You got a lot more pasture to run in. Do you like the barn? It's a little noisy, I won't lie. It's good to see you though. So, I I'm working on scheduling a few things for this sweet girl. <clears throat> we need to get a Coggins test done. We need to talk about a dentist and we need to schedule her in with the farriers for the next round too. So that'll be coming up soon. It'll come before we know it. And we also have an appointment booked with the chiropractor at Longhorn Lester's. So I'm not sure if we'll schedule her to be a part of that too. And we'll do a special day here for Dan and I'm a Jean and for my little Rita here, but we'll talk about it. How do you like your name, baby? What do you think about it? You want to know what I think of whenever I hear your name? Well, they call me Senorita. Do, 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 do. You don't like it? You're okay with it? It's, it's annoying, I know, I know. Well, they call me Senorita. <laughs> oh, she's a beautiful girl and I love her name. <clears throat> I also plan on calling her Margarita when she gets a little too wild. I know, love, I know. People have been sending me all kinds of uh, ideas of what she is, what, what her horse breed is and that type of thing. And I did learn last night that there is a DNA test. So I ordered that. I'm excited to be able to do that for her and learn a little bit about her. And <laughs> Nate, there's no DNA test for you. There just isn't. But we'll get our little Rita's test done and see how that comes out. Hi, sweetie. I didn't realize how much that we would open ourselves up to criticism by making videos of a horse that was dropped off at, at our gate. So many people have sent us some of the meanest things that I've ever been told, all because of this girl right here and I got to make a big call out here. Um, we haven't done anything wrong. We haven't done anything wrong. See, that's what I agree with, baby. I agree. She came to us. We fed her. We gave her water. Gave her a pasture to run in. We took off the halter that clearly had been on her for some time. We gave her a herd to be with for starters. She's got a roof over her head, I know, for whenever it rains and she doesn't want to be out in it. She's got people to groom her, to love her, to talk to her. Right, sweetheart. You don't want that part of your head rubbed? How about this right here? Is that okay? And I think that there are people who believe that they're a horse expert who want to be sure to demand 
uh, something different be done with her to let us know that we are not experts. And, and quite frankly, uh, I've been called a lot of things in the last couple days simply because this horse came into our lives. But the reality is, is I'm here. And outside of our family, no one else is. And this horse, my little Rita here, she's okay. She's not out being bullied. She's not injured. She's eating good meals. She has grass. She's making friends that don't hurt her, that don't kick her or throw her down to the ground or bite her. She's learning about the way that our farm runs. She's learning who we are and we're learning who she is. None of us have claimed to be horse trainers. Not one person here. Not one person here says, oh, this is going to be the next racing horse or most well-trained, full of tricks, anything, nothing, nothing like that. We want her to feel love. We want to be able to work with her so that we can trust her and she can trust us. We want her to work with her to be able to care for her. That includes her feet, her teeth, her medications if she ever needs them. So for all the criticism coming our way, for all of the hate, because I, I have written, I have read some written hate. If you could just find something else to watch. Find somewhere else that, that you can take out your anger and aggression on. Because we're really trying here to do our best. Dan. Are you playing with that ball, Dan? We are trying to care for a multitude of species. A multitude of human beings. Land. And all of the things that need to be cared for in order to provide for the animals. And I will tell you that it, it takes a toll. And with every time that you open the email, there's somebody else criticizing. And, and I don't mean like, Jamie, you're doing a bad job. I mean like, Jamie, you're too fat to be able to, to work with a horse. It doesn't say, Jamie, you're too fat to ride a horse, right? No, you're too fat to work with a horse. Like to walk out in the pasture with a horse, I'm too fat for that. How dare you? How dare you? And Lester's, Lester is too much of a loose cannon to be able to ever read a horse. You have no idea. You have no idea. There's just so many things. But at the end of the day, I'm here. Lester's here. Putting in time. And doing the best that we know how. And when we exceed our know-how, we ask for help. From those that should know or do know or, or know someone who does know. We are not too proud to ask for help. And we never will be. But what I will say is I'm not going to let anyone steal the joy out of this experience for us. Because what you see on camera is a glimpse of time. And in reality, the amount of care and love and work that we put in with not just Rita, with any of these animals, is something you could never understand. Sorry for my rant today. I 
just wanted to show you that my little Rita here without a halter is a different horse. And I think that there's a lot to be said about that. All right, sweet girl. She's a brand new girl. And I love that. So I'm gonna put this camera down and get out my brush and give her what she deserves. Give them all what they deserve. A little bit of love. Right, Danny boy. A little bit of love. I love y'all so much. <laughs> Were you just watching me love Danny? Were you a little jealous of that moment right there? I think you were. <laughs> Look who's dominant over him. She just made him move. Look at her side eye him. <laughs> Sorry, Danny. Sometimes those young ones just like to take control.